With up all my hoodlums, hooligans, knuckleheads, players and pimps, slayers and simps, hoes and freaks, nerds and geeks, strippers and tippers, thugs and gorillas, soldiers and kings, goddesses and queens, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, niggas and bitches, and you sophisticated motherfuckers alike. Welcome to Hip Hop's Biggest Fan. <laughs> Today, um, man, I'm with Lil Crow. I, 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 I interviewed this brother straight to the foot last summer. Um, shout out DJ Duke, salute yes, DJ Duke. Um, oh, my dog, absolutely. You know what I mean? I, I know them two together is like peanut butter and jelly or whatever <laughs> other you know great um combinations y'all want to put together hennessy and coke or you know dick and pussy i don't i'm not trying to call neither one of them <laughs> even one of them but you know great combinations is a great combination forgive me that what i'm thinking about it it was kind of weird <laughs> but you got i got the old pause pause oh uh, yeah all right, forgive me <laughs> you know what i'm saying um but saying all that to say i'm here with little crow um man Hey man, you know. Great to get with you again, brother. He put out um, enough said the documentary earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had my um, I want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. Physical, uh, medical complications. I yeah. wasn't able to make it. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it was still a successful, beautiful, wonderful event, from my understanding. Yeah, it was, and we still we still kept you in the mix, man. Like even when you told me. I still kept the promotion going for the media coverage that you was going to be there. Still kept your oh, name, man. your brand and everything on it. So, and I, I did my best to share on yeah. my YouTube yeah. shit, but I'm going to say this. Y'all watching this on YouTube now because this is how we do it. To where I'm sitting at, where I want to say, we all looking at is on the right-hand side, the description, the link to the motherfucking documentary going to be down there in the description. Yes, it's going to be in yes, blue sir. on this channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, enough said. The documentary, but the album about to be dropping right around this time this interview about to come out. Yeah. Hey man, listen. That enough said the album, man, it it piggybacks right off of the short bio film. The short right. bio film, it tells you, you know what I'm saying, everything This nigga got his own slippers. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you <laughs> off. But it's all good. I love that shit. Yeah, I'm listening, man. I'm listening though. So uh uh I mean to let y'all know why I got slippers on, man. We we right now we in my crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all see the this is a projector. There's yeah, a projector man. behind here. It's a beautiful, like, wonderful um setup. Yeah, yes. I mean, so um, you know, getting back to the short film. Smells marvelous in this motherfucker. <laughs> just, oh, that shout out the wifey bad. Yeah, yeah. Bath and body works work well, right there. God bless the wives. You know, <laughs> yeah. From, from from one to another man with hey, a wife, yeah, yeah they, they do that for sure, for sure. Forgive me. Uh, the, the the film piggybacks off of my first year as being a full time artist. Right. You know what I'm saying, and showing you everything that goes in the mix. The people who help me, the people who support me, um, just being able to balance being a father, a husband, and being a full time um, artist. Also working a nine to five. So yeah. it just it shows you all that. You know what I'm saying. And I I wanted to do that not just for motivational purpose, but to show people like it, it can be done. You know what I'm saying? It, this 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 whole recipe's the Nipsey, but it's mm. like he said, it is a marathon. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a marathon for real. So, um, the album will be dropping May 29th. That's a Sunday of this month. So, you know, the last that's, Sunday. Of that's the Memorial month. Day weekend kind of shit, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, close, that's close right to it. So, you know what I'm saying? I got features on there. I got Trill CG. Shout out to Trill. I got Zan Dan, shout out to Zan. I got Logan H. James. It's Logan. Um, I got uh BI Loco. I got the whole Man. I got the I got my DJ on there, of course, but I also got my label. Shout out to 87 Records. I got BMF Cash and I got shout out to the CEO Erica the Plug. All on this album, man. This is put together. This is year a uh, year of work put together right here. You know what I'm saying? Um I got I got about a total of probably about seven different producers that have engineered, even made the beats and mix and mastered. But the main guy that, that, that I had that I worked with is Slick in the Mix. Shout out to Slick, man's playing media. Where you from? Uh, he from here. He from here? Yeah, I got my own little small team in Baltimore that I work As with. As you should. That I work with and that, that I get stuff done. So definitely shout out to uh, man's playing media, Trizzy. They do my 
They do my recording, my videos. All right. Um, shout out to my graphic guy, Fantasy Designs. Okay. Who is actually uh, DJ Duke's nephew. So we... We gonna I keep... keep yeah, it's a close knit. I keep everything All in, in the circle. circle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, I don't mean to cut y'all off, but I'm, I'm gonna just say this. Hey, that's how you build. Yo, like, yo, you want something to do? You into this shit? Yo, if that's it, yo, we can we can incorporate your uh, talent and your passion into the business. Exactly. And not just for my benefit, but for theirs. For everybody, you know yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting right. there. I'm getting their 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 fans, their their base, their support, they get mine. Yes. Yeah, and we all growing together, man. That's I, my mindset. Okay, I'm gonna jump out here and say this like this. All right. Um we doing this interview today. I I, I thought he might might put this shit on IG live, right? So whatever. We put out the trailer, right? Yeah. All right, cool. I, I'm going to just, I, fuck it, I know for a fact, a few people, how a handful or two or how many people that follow you started following me. Yeah. Yeah. To your point. Yeah. And somebody and actually like that. hit me today. Like, bro, can you set me up for an interview? Yeah, it's easy. I, I mean, uh, yeah, he did the fuck with you. Come on, though. Like, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, that, that's how it worked, man. Yeah, and, 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 and to alley, you... That you threw me and I was I was just trying to be with earlier this summer how, how what happened or didn't happen, but um damn how do I say this properly without being disrespectful? The opportunity was there. Whoever followed through, I thought I I followed through as best I could. Hey, sometimes you know and, and, you know, and whatever you know, but <laughs> I know what you're hitting on, and that's that's part of why. That's gonna be the part of the topic today. One of the topics today too with this interview that is, like what you just hitting on is like they Follow say that, through. they say that they say you can't you can you can lead them to water but you can't make mm. them drink it. Yeah, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And for a lot of artists, bro, in the city, like when I started doing this, that, that's why I got this shit right here too, just to let motherfuckers know, like this is no, real no, paperwork. No. Talk. That's the authentic empire. This now I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. My 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 wife's cousin was checking out some other nigga that had that shit on. He like yo, this that. Nigga. I was like, I, I I just sat back and was like, I know what my fuck on. <laughs> yeah, but so, I forgive me. I'm sorry. No, no, you good. So I man, I I, I had to have this here. Yeah, you know, and while we talk, right? So shout out to them. Okay, you I'm know gonna... what I'm saying. Definitely shout out to Authentic Empire for giving me the platform. Right. To be able to to grow me myself as a they artist. They out of ATL, right? Yeah, they out of Atlanta. Yeah, and um, a lot of artists get with them. They're they're not a a record company. They're not a Universal. They're not a Capital. You know what I'm saying? They are a service company. You know what I'm saying? Which is y'all listening? Which is like Rena Center. Mm. So if you say you go to Rena Center, you like. Yeah, man, I, I I gotta wash clothes. I, I gotta do clothes. I gotta have a a a, 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 a washer and dryer right. in my house. You say you ain't got the money to buy it right off the break. Mm. So you say I'm gonna go to a service center that I can rent one. So what you do at Rent a Center? You pay them to use their services right. for that washer machine and dryer. Right. Now it's not up to Rent a Center to call you. And say, hey, you got you washing clothes? You doing clothes on Sunday? Y'all listening? Sure, make sure you wash your clothes. I'm him, him listening. I hear Authentic you. is the same way. So they're going to offer you services. You're going to pay for them, of course. But you got to put it in the motherfucking but work. you have to have a plan on how you're going to use it. Mm. So if you say you're going to go rent a, a wash and dryer for rent a center, it's up to you to plan on when you're going to wash clothes and how you're going to use it. And that's the same thing with authentic. And that's what I try to tell people. Like, bro, you're not paying them. Even though you're paying them X amount of thousands of dollars to use their services, it's not their job to be like, hey, are you doing your photo shoot? Are you, you, you got a plan for releasing this? You got this, you're doing that? No, they, it's up to them to just give you the service. You have so a plan. So is it something like distribution? They got distribution. Yeah, they got distribution. I'm just trying to get it's different. Clear, clear it's different connect. services. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it? Okay. Go ahead. Is it distribution, promotion, or it depends upon whatever you sign on this paper? So it comes with a package deal. So you say, oh, say, so you say you want to do management. 
So if you sign a management deal, okay. it's up to them to manage your services. But you got to give them something to manage. Exactly. So when you say, when <laughs> like, you if you say, yeah, okay, I want to hey. pay for the, the management deal to be managed by y'all. Right. Um, and you get X, Y, Z with the management. It's up to you to have a plan behind that to have to give them something to manage. Yeah. If it's nothing there to manage and for them to, to be like, okay, this is a possible person we can invest in and this, like that, and the third, then it's not going to happen. Yeah. That's where you be left out at. Yeah. Um, Dog. Then you got distribution. You know, di- they do distribution. Um, that distribution deal is, is uh, any distribution deal. Right. If that platform is is big enough to help you grow, is a good deal, because they're distributing your music worldwide or wherever right. they, you can get you out at, and then also you're you're using their likeness and their branding behind you. Right. So you can say, yo, I like when people said, oh, yo, did you sign to them? Did you do this? I'm like, yeah, I signed, but it's different type of deals in signing. It's- it's- Go ahead. I'm going to just say, especially in this day and time, this ain't 1980, 1990. This ain't even ni- This ain't even 2000s. <laughs> this is 2020 something. Like, nobody back then could imagine not selling a whole record or album. This shit is streaming. Yeah. That's the big shit, right? Yeah, yeah. And it ain't the big shit for artists. But, The deal, like depending upon, like yo, artists get can get themselves so popping on social media, right? Because yeah. that's really the big way of, of promoting and connecting and all that. As as far as I can see it, as a fan, that's why my shit called him our biggest fan. I'm not saying I'm the most business unconscious motherfucker, mm-hmm. but um, yo, that the, the levels of deals now is so different. Yeah, wait, it's way. So you don't necessarily need a fucking record label to sell records, but, yeah, but to be in the masses and on the banners and to be on Hollywood Unlocked and Shade yeah. Room and all that other other shit and whatever you want to call it, um, that shit comes with a a a, a, a price. That you're gonna fuck around and probably lose in the front end. Yeah, so you I mean Is that is that fair? I don't know. No, 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 that that's 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 real fair. Um when it comes to like certain deals, man, in the industry that I done learned. And that's why Please enlighten me and enlighten and that's the people. Why, um, Cause you was giving out free game last Sunday. Yeah, Sunday and that and I hopped that was on some- there and I hopped on there, man, because like I get Time to time that people ask me certain things. People ask me, "Yo, you gonna be? You should be a manager." Like Duke, shout out to him. Duke even be like, "Yo, you ever thought about being a manager after you done?" I'm like, "Yeah," you know what I'm saying. But I, I, I also told Duke, I said, "I gotta see how I can manage myself. Mm. If I can't, if I can't manage mm. myself, I'm definitely not gonna try to manage nobody else." So I don't mean to interrupt, nigga. I know not, nothing about nothing. Five motherfuckers asked me, man. I said, nigga, I don't even know nobody, nigga. <laughs> you think I'm, I'm, nigga, you think I'm popping? I just, nigga, nigga, I still work. I still drive a motherfucking tractor trailer. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Damn. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm like, I'm just straight up like, nigga, I'm, I'm going to work tomorrow night. I'm going to make motherfuckers $600, working about 11 hours. Right. Straight like that, straight like that. This is real shit. This is me being real. No. I mean, I'm just that's who it's I am. Definitely, it's definitely real, bro. And that's why uh I had to I had to get on back on here, you know what I'm saying, to start this promo right man, because this is the most authentic, realest interview you can get. I mean, it's it's I'm a regular motherfucker. Like regular, I'm not regular <laughs> man from, from, from the city uh, yeah. man, just doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, I seen this. I seen when we I saw, oh nigga, I'm very familiar. All right, cool. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna get get too specific. I'm like, I'm very familiar. I might get some when I leave about this motherfucker. I know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, sorry, yo. No, no, no. You good? The same. So, so when um when we talking about the business, man. Yeah. For, for some of these artists, bro, they don't 
they don't get it. Like, no, and not at all. Like, I mean, what, I know they don't. And what I was saying, why I brought up the authentic <laughs> situation is because when I first was doing my deal and I was coming back home doing shows, because anybody tell you, bro, I was, I was living in Atlanta last year. Like, okay. I was... I was back and forth. I was standing there for weekends, for for weeks and, and shit like that. Right. And Duke, we was we was back and forth. So staying busy. We when we came back though, and I did shows. I told Duke like, "Yo, I'm a um, I'm about to just start telling artists tap in, bro. Like even if they don't tap in, it's just in me. Like I want to help. I want to give back. So right. whoever, it don't matter if I help one or two. You know what I'm saying? One person, two people it doesn't matter. Um. So I would take say I, I respect I feel you yeah. I respect that. So I would say in the beginning of or the end of my shows, like I would be like, yo, any artists that want to, you know, what I'm saying, learn the business, tap in. And when I say tap in, it's not even for no money purposes. This is just what we doing right now. Networking, conversating, conversating networking, giving you, giving you the knowledge. knowledge and because mm -hmm. a lot of artists that I'm that, knocking on your wood, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like because a, a, a lot of mm -hmm. artists, bro, that that's recording right now. They don't understand like all that shit you doing. It don't make it's it's not going, it's not going to last. Not mm. even last, but it's it's not. It don't have no value to it. Yeah. Um. A lot of people's songs is not properly registered. What you gotta learn the registry of songs. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, with this YouTube shit, like this is something I've learned. Yo, I just hit four years. This is something I've learned over this time. But forgive me, I'm listening to you. I've learned yeah. something similar, like yeah, yeah. no, definitely mm. with YouTube and everything. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, even like you said about songs, so yeah. with one dealing with the other, with any content, yeah, any level of content, it has to like you saying, properly registered, yeah, and, talk about it. Um, your songs mm. have to be properly registered, and it, and it's yeah. re and it's registry platforms out here. Um, BMI, BMI is only is only a small part of it. You know, BMI only covers the U.S. Mm -hmm. Like. So your song is covered in the U.S., but if you're trying to go get streams and get paid from like Europe, Africa, Europe, London, Turkey, all them type joints. Um, yeah, I can start uh, naming some yeah. shit I seen on my YouTube shit. I'm like, nigga, these yeah. niggas is white. Do they speak English? Yeah. But I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. you uh, you can you can register on other registries like uh, for one, I had to say Sunday, Sound Exchange. Okay. Sound Exchange is yeah. another registry. Um, that you have, but it's a process on how you register your song. You start with BMI, right? Then once you register that song on BMI, like I said, Sunday, every song has a social security number, just like us as humans. You hey, know what I'm saying? Oh, um, uh, EIN number or tax identification yeah, number. That's, what, or... that's business talk, though, right there. That's that's business, right? I there. mean, but it's business, it, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, but every business got a social security <laughs> number as well. I'm just you know saying, I'm saying? Like, that's another yeah. jewel you just dropped. I'm a brother. I'm, I'm, I've been going through it myself. I got you. Like, these motherfuckers want to cut me a check. I'm saying, hold up. This ain't personal, nigga. This is business. Mm -hmm. So, hold up. I got to do what? Yeah. No, no, no. Y'all hold that money till I get my shit together. Because, damn. I ain't know. Yeah, yeah. So forgive me, I'm about no, to listen. No, you good. So every um every like I was saying, every song has a social security number. Right. So once barcodes you register, and shit. So once you register, used to be barcodes. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I'm jumping off. Once so. you register that, right, on BMI, then you want to go register on Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange covers more ground. It covers different countries and everything. And Sound Exchange goals get you the money that you missing. From BMI, mm -hmm. so when you register that, you register that same song with the same social security number. Then whatever you distributing it through is when you go ahead and and, and register that song and put that song through. So now there's no gap on your money flow. You got BMI, they getting you your money, and then whatever BMI can get you, exchange exchange is gonna get you more in and whatever it can't get from BMI. And then now you go ahead and have those flowing straight through your distribution. Now you're getting your stream money straight through or covered for no gaps, no gaps in between. You know what I'm saying? And when I learned that, I was like, okay, all right. And just understanding that, that you can eat off of that. Because last year, last year, no bullshit. And this is no cap. And when I say this, but... Out I'm listening, bro. Forgive me. Out of my own work money, right? And including my wife's and our savings last year, on music alone, I I invested twenty thousand. 
Okay. And that's what everything. That's from show, paying for, paying for certain shows. Promotions. Views, promotions, traveling. You know what I'm saying? Rental cars, gas. Flights. Flights. Hotels. hotels Airbnb. Like um, 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 wardrobe. Wardrobe. All this. Yep. All that. That's all she's right off. Yeah. And when I learned that all that is, is that can be written off at the end of the year. Yeah. So that's what I did. Right. Along with already making my artist name a business. So I made myself a business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, this so is what I had to learn to do. So that's what I had to learn yeah. to do. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah. Hold that check up, nigga. Hold yeah. on. I got, I got, what, what was that? What? Yep. So <laughs> once I learned, once I learned that, yeah. I'm like, okay. So everything that I was doing, I really was doing it under my business. Under right. me as Lil Crow, LLC. Using was, personal money, though. Using personal money. Off the top, all off originally. The top, originally. Yeah. Now, this year, mm -hmm. I can walk into the bank. I can ask for a grant or a loan mm -hmm. to use my business. Mm -hmm. And then I can reinvest that again. Not of my own money this time. It's the business money. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Continue, brother. I, and so, I, 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 I don't even want to inter interrupt you. Yeah. Because... If I tell you what happened today, you'd be like, exactly. <laughs> but I'm listening. Same, same shit, man. But uh, I just be wanting the artists, bro. Like, um, shout out to Zan and shout out to uh, F&B Day. Okay. I'm shouting them out because they was the first two artists to ever tap in with me. Okay. And really sit down and listen to me. No, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? And they hit, they hit me because they was the artists that every artist do. They hit that wall. Mm. You know, you you putting in all this money, you going to to to, to all these shows, these uh showcases around mm -hmm. the city, you paying for videos mm -hmm. and then you paying for studio time and you putting out all this and then you like No results. There's no results, you're not moving and you're mm -hmm. like, yo, what the hell? Like what's going on? And so again, I met both of these guys at showcases and I performed and I said the same thing, tap in. They tapped in, we exchanged numbers. F and B day. He called me that same night when I got in the house. He would call me, bro. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to listen, though. I want to learn, bro. I'm a sponge, bro. And me just hearing how hungry he was on the phone, I'm like, yeah. So we spent about two hours on the phone. I'm giving him everything, showing him how to listening, certain, showing him how to do certain things. That's some real game. And what he doing? Is he's soaking it up and he taking it back to his little team and his yeah. management. And when I say within a month or two, literally, this little motherfucker took off. Man. Exactly. Like I'm talking about, mm -hmm. and I'm like, exactly, little bro. And so uh, same thing for Zan, man. Zan, Zan already had all the pieces. You know what I'm saying? He just needed. He what? just needed the information. Mm. He are, that mm. motherfucker, this man, had the town. he already, he, had the sound. this nigga do, had the, he do clothes, he already was an entrepreneur himself already. Oh, hot, oh, real life hustler, in my mind, he, already, yeah, man, okay, yeah, he hustler. Was, he was already doing, he, he custom shoes, mm. he doing skits, he got a skit page, he was doing already oh, acting, shit, word. and music, so, once I gave him the information, and, you go, you go, yo, and gave him the for, tools, for, for whatever it's worth. Yo, please hit me with the things. I want to interject them in, the, in you mentioning them, yeah. hopefully within this interview, if I can do this properly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we can highlight these brothers, but continue. No, I'm sorry. for sure. So they, uh, so Zan, he, he tapped in the same way. We right. talked for like two hours. You know what I mean? And from then and forth, man, he would call me every morning. Like, yeah, bro, I just did this. Oh, yeah, yup, you was right. Yo, I'm doing it now. Bop, 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 bop. And as soon as you know, he signed a distribution deal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the Bentley Records for for definitely giving him a platform. Um, and, and 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 Bentley Records is another just distributing company, service company. All right. You know what I'm saying? That's big. That's big on the market. They, it's like authentic. You know what I'm saying? And um, some of these uh, some of these companies, what people get it twisted is that they do have artists that they actually. Yeah, because I, I see some motherfucker with this stamp. That I knew, I'm like, yo, I interviewed this, and I had interviewed you and with, with Duke. Yeah, that was late. Hold on, hold on. That was late, late last summer. Late last summer. It was early this year. 
Mm-hmm. When I saw it, my, yo, my, my wife's cousin was playing some shit, and I seen this motherfucker stand right here, and I was like, hold up, nigga. Yeah. I was like, now I'm listening to the shit, and I'm like, that's cool. But I know a nigga signed it, but you know, I was just fucking with these niggas for whatever it's worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I'm saying all that to say, I'm listening but at, to all the things that you're saying, like, yo, you got to do the work, though. You got to. Like, even regardless of whatever deal you, you sign, yo, I don't give a fuck how, if you listen to the old niggas, that, that yo, I got 500, I got a million dollar deal. Like, nigga, they still had to do the work. You had to. You got and they, to. they had the biggest budgets you and, couldn't even, niggas couldn't even imagine and, that. And guess what, though? Motherfuckers think, like, even for myself, I, I tell myself this. And, and and knowing people who actually in a game at right. million dollar deals, right? It's like when you do get that million dollar deal, uh, nigga, you gotta work twenty times harder than uh, what you working uh, right now. You uh, think you working right now? You gotta pay off that debt, yeah. nigga. That's yeah. a loan, that's nigga. A loan. That's a loan I mean, forever. A, you want a million dollars? A, a, a loan forever, unless your ass go three times platinum or better. Or better. This is what they call. This is why my motherfucker say. Um, triple platinum, yeah. like a triple platinum, will pretty much pay off. From my understanding, it pay off everything. And yes, <laughs> yeah. Like, from my that. understanding, you gotta go triple platinum. It ain't one times. Uh-huh. It ain't two times. It ain't go, nigga. Triple platinum. All right, now you getting money, and you pay. You can. You can. You, go, you really. Go. Yeah, you can. You can, <laughs> you can buy. You, if you go triple platinum, you can buy yourself out. Uh, man, yeah, listen, you can buy yourself out. There, it, thank you for saying it, because sure. I, I wanted to go there, but I was like. I don't want to lie. <laughs> yeah, but no, you you okay. definitely can. But it's uh right now, man. There's so many ways that you don't have to um even do that. You have to you have to sign okay. a, a deal. You don't have to sign to a label, right? You know what I'm saying? They got services out here, service companies, service record labels. Yeah, that's what they call it. They call it service record labels because they're record labels that's giving you services. You now, brother, all right, you've been talking. First, first time we talked, he was an authentic empire. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't fucked the name of did I? No. Authentic Empire. No. Now you were 87 records, correct? Correct, correct. Shout out to 87. Okay. Man. Um, please talk to me about that. Man, 87 records. Man. I don't know where, should we pull this, this up? You, you can. Well, okay, you I'm going to let you do it. Another, I don't, thing, I don't another, thing, another piece of paperwork I got here. I don't want to pull the titties out. I'm going to let you pull the titties out. You dig? Yeah, man, we definitely, uh, everything official tissue, everything is on paper. I mean, everything that I do is, is, is on paper. But um, 87 records, man, is, is founded by, you know, BMF Cash and his wife, Erica. Okay. You know, um... I'm, I'm, for whatever it's worth, I'm going to just say, shout out to BMF. Anybody sure. else, the leave family. me the fuck alone about it. <laughs> my wife was like, nigga, how do we get this? Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even like to call my wife that, but I'm just saying. Uh, like, uh, look, uh, look yeah. I don't know. You're going to leave that alone. Yeah, but yeah. forgive me, I will continue. Shout out, man. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with, with Cash because I met Cash. Um, he's from here. He's from Baltimore. Born and raised, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the mother. I, all drug dealers love Baltimore. That's, to me, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna say about to say the realest shit right now forever. I might make this a highlight on my shit. This is why no Baltimore rappers can pop from Baltimore, cause nigga, this is a drug dealer's dream. Oh yeah. But forgive me, yeah. <laughs> nigga. Nigga, say why you think no rappers are on Nigga, cause nigga, you you uh, nigga, we moving everything out this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of shit come through. As 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 fuck, the it for me to say, I don't mean to. No, a lot a lot of shit come through Baltimore. A lot, a lot of brother, everything. Yeah, no, for real, and um, we had uh, oh, I'm listening. I'm sorry, yo. You know, I'm sorry. I kind of fucked the whole, the oh, whole no, 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 shit up. Good, I kind of feel like I did, but no, nah, no, you good, bro. But I, shout listen. out to uh, to Cash, man. Um, bro, uh, moved down. Shout out to BMF Cash. BMF Cash. Oh, shout out to BMF Cash. He he moved he moved to Atlanta. Right. Um, don't quote me on this, but I think about like seven years ago. Okay. Um, you know, moved down there uh, to chase the music. Um, you know, his story was uh, 
you know, first lady, shout out, shout out to her, rest in peace to her, first lady Juice, uh, she was with B BMF Cash uh, and BMF Family, and she pushed mm. Cash to, to chase the music, mm. you know, and when he moved down there, she, uh, you know, sadly uh, passed away, so he ended up not ever coming back to Baltimore, but keeping that alive, that push that she gave him to chase the music, and so that's what he did. And fast forward to now, he met his wife, Erica, who was already, like, she was already, her nickname, The Plug. And it's The Plug for a reason. Because she was already in a major mix with with, with, with the industry. I'm talking right. about with big names. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And she was already doing uh, management work. She worked with a major record, record company before and everything. So, um, you know, Cash, you know, presented me with what they was what they was working on right and of course me meeting him and the crazy thing how we met is i met cash off of instagram I, man i done met some motherfuckers i met, met uh, i met i met bro off i of met on duke off instagram <laughs> i met look right for whatever and that's so worth it, it was crazy because i i was probably man cash was rapping back and forth okay. on instagram and he he and what I always say is that he's one of the most stand-up niggas, humble niggas I know. Like, he'll, he'll fuck with you if he don't even know you. Yeah. If you giving all good vibes and you talking good business and That's you trying right. to, you know what I'm saying, he gonna fuck with you. So I he I was doing music, He, you know what I'm saying, we was fucking with each other, and I end up telling him, like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm about to come down there. And we I was already talking to him for, like, a year or two on Instagram. And so I was like, yeah, bro, um, I'm about to come down there with my DJ. And he like, who your DJ? I'm like, DJ Duke. He like, that's my I, nigga. He said, nigga, <laughs> look. <laughs> he said, I'm what? fucking Duke. He said, nigga, uh, that's my man. Mm. I just got up the phone with him. Yeah, he told me he had his artist with him, but I didn't know it was you. you. I was like, yeah, Yo. bro, we on the way down there now. And that's how... Man, I met we we met the first time. Um, I met uh, his uh, one of his uh, his brothers that's in the family as well. Shout out to T Villa. T Villa is from Detroit. He an artist, man. Big name right now. He just signed his his deal with Empire. Man. With Empire. <laughs> um, and so that whole time, man, we just rapping, and he came to me. Oh, this shit beautiful. Yeah, yo. he came to me with with the with the with the pro proposition. Of like, yo, when we get everything up and running, bro, I want you to fuck with us. Like, and I'm like, shit, no question, nigga. Like, he ain't even know what I was doing with Authentic. I had Authentic, you know what I'm saying, so well put out that people thought I was signed to them. Like, I was one of their signed artists. Yeah. That's how yeah. I That's how I made it look. You know what I'm saying? And so when he asked me, he asked me about my deal with Authentic. I was like, I ain't got no deal with him. I just, you know what I'm saying, did the management project deal uh, deal with him where... I just used their services. I just wanted to build build my stuff up. But, you know what I'm saying, everything was so genuine with me and authentic that, you know what I'm saying, I finished out my my deal, you know what I'm saying, to the clean T, and they still allowed me to keep my distribution. Man, look. Still allowed me to, I still can call them anytime. I hey, can go down there anytime. Sh and shout you know out to anybody saying? doing clean business, man. Look. You clean business, yo, bro. I, I'm, I'm going to say this. It's, it go back to... Even just the simplest shit with followers and shit. Yeah. Yo, we all work together. We all connect. Yo, we can't do nothing but be bigger, better, greater. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it all matters. It, it all matters, man. So, um, pick, pick it's like word of mouth. Yeah. No, it, you know it, what I'm saying? And that's the best thing, man. Relationships last, last man. longer than the money, man. You know what I'm saying? You... You can go broke the day of the mob, I'm, and I'm, you got at least can, one. Can I tell you the, the? Can I tell you the realest shit ever? Go ahead. If you want to talk about relationships, I done met um how many people went all of this, right? I done met people way before this. Twenty years ago, yo, I was heavy and I was I was about to be heavy in this. My story is my story, but even fast forward into the twenty twenties. What just happened, you know what I mean, when you wanted to do your thing earlier this year? Yeah. Um, you know, if niggas wanted to be funny, like, yo, that was kind of fucked up, yo, he, nah, yo, like, I'm, I'm, I hit you, nigga, and told you, I ain't just hit you with, I ain't just ghost you. Right. Shit wasn't right. 
I wasn't right, yo. I'm just trying to tell you, yo, keep doing your thing. I can do it. And we here, still here today. You know what I mean? Relationships, though. And at the same time, respectfully communicating. Yeah, that's it. And respecting people's real lives. No, nah, Like, real. what the fuck really be happening? No, nah, real shit, though. <laughs> like, and, like, and that's what you got to understand, man. Like, um, like, I tell my artist, like, the, my brother, uh, Zane, I talked to him today. You know what I'm saying? And I told him, I said, bro, one thing you don't never got to worry about and I don't have to worry about because we we have what we have, the, the knowledge of how to survive the game is that we can take a break anytime we want to mm. and focus on real life shit. Yeah. And still come back yeah. and still be in, in either the same position we left or, or better because we know what we're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you have that luxury when you know, when you understand the business and you have the knowledge of it. You can, you can shit hit you and you like, yo, I just got to chill. You, yeah. You can feel comfortable on saying, yo, I'm a chill. Yeah. Like some people be like, yo, if I, if I let it go, then I ain't fucking with it. Man, listen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can I even say this to that? Yeah. This was the greatest thing 20 years ago about the mystery of shit. Mm -hmm. You wasn't so accessible to motherfuckers back yeah. then yeah, as you are now. Yeah. So even with saying that, I get how people be acting now, but let's just say we be talking about the artists. Yourself, Kendrick Lamar. We ain't seen this nigga drop an album since 2017, 18. Or J. Cole, J. Cole. J. Take a break. You what? Like, you know what I'm saying? How, how they but I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm even talking about. See, I ain't talking about old niggas. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about motherfuckers that's like, yo, like, yo, you kind of in your prime. Yeah, no, real shit. Them two you just named. They, but, they in a... They in a and and, and, and who's prime. to say you ain't in your prime? You mm -hmm. did? Now, I'm... Whatever. Okay, cool. But, yo, I got real life shit to deal with. Mm -hmm. Like, if I, if, I, if I could pull these pictures out on what the fuck I saw last night and what I had to stop my world for last night... Y'all be like, damn, yo, I had to, I'm, I'm so grateful that one of my loved ones is still here that I can speak on right now. And mm -hmm. I'm not even going to get no specifics, but I'm, this yeah. is real shit I'm saying right now. This ain't got nothing to do with this, some music, or just regular real, real life. Shit. Real shit, man. You know what I mean? No, that's just real. Um, semi, semi and to your, yeah, but, 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 to, but to your point, though, like, yo. You have to be kind of prepared for the unprepared. Yeah, you, you <laughs> got to. Like, you got to. And one thing because, about it, one sure. thing about it too, bro, is that, is that when you have knowledge of certain things, it's not and not just about music. Talk about just, that shit deep. Talk about just about life, like period. When you have that, the knowledge, like okay, you know, a lot of L's in life was lessons, mm. a lot of losses, or, or, or and learning, learning. You know what I'm saying? So. If you didn't sit there and you said, "Okay, yo, I'm not gonna pay. I'm a, um, I'm a skip. I'm a skip the, the light bill this 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 week, mm. and you gonna go ahead and put it to." He talking. Hold on. He talking real r real yeah, life man. shit. Hold up. I'm sorry. Forgive yeah. me. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> no, he tell you this nigga. This shit get real. Like say, we ain't gonna pay that motherfucker this yeah, month. We're gonna pay right, I'm sorry. Month. Sorry. We, we, we gonna be. I done been, been there. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, right, no, they ain't gonna cut it off. Bop, bop, bop. Right. And then. You went to go do what you was going to do, even if you was going out. You went on a vacation, and you I went come to back, flip it, <laughs> flip it, whatever you going to do. And right. Then you wake up the next morning. You went to go turn on a light, and ain't nothing come on. Mm. And you like, damn. You know what I'm saying? That's a lesson learned. Like, okay, you can't go X Y Z long without it. You want to go and pay on it, get it out the way. So you can have breathing room to worry about something else, and, and you know what I'm saying. So it's just not about the music, man. It's no. just about life lessons. Cause I like I talked to Duke about life. I talked to Zan, you know, uh, F and B Day. He took a break cause he just had his newborn son. That's why he took yeah. a break for music. But guess yeah. what? The difference of that he he felt comfortable enough to do that to be like. He bro, put himself in that position. I ain't. Is that I'm fair? Good. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. Bro. I'm good. I can. I, I can focus on man, my son. Man, God and bless him. Come back and, 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 and still and, be. And, 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 and still be me on that point. Yeah. 
You know mm. what I'm saying? And because he know how to do it. And even if you're not in being seen, you still have Bro. knowledge enough and relationships enough that you can still move without being seen. Can I say this? Yo, the mystery is a magical fucking thing. And you know why? Oh. I, yo, I'm glad you hit on mystery, right? Because a lot of motherfuckers wonder how I be doing a lot of shit I be doing. Mm. Like, motherfuckers be like, Come on, yo. I ain't been in, I, and, and my wife, DJ Duke, if anybody who know me, no, they can contest to this, bro. I ain't even been out nowhere. Right. I ain't been into no shows. Me what Duke got? Me I ain't been. I ain't been in, in a mix on 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 communicating with everybody. Like, and it's not because I don't want to. It's because right. I got shit I'm trying to do. Right. But motherfucker, don't see you doing nothing. Uh huh. So hey, hey, yo, they be you, like, you ain't putting your whole business on French Street every like, way you know, ain't right? doing no shows. Uh-huh. You ain't been this. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. But then I can pop back out just like the other day. You know what I'm saying? I popped out with the DJ Khaled competition that I got to set. Like, all right, cool. You I, know what I, what I wanted to tell them that. But just, no, no, wait, go get into it. Get into you know what it. What get into it. I popped out with you that. You qualified. No, you know like, what I'm saying? I popped whatever you out. Want, I don't know what the word yeah, is. Yeah, no, I got to set it in. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? That start June the 2nd. So, um, I got accepted to that. I popped out with the whole promotion run with with the with the album i i dropped the album you know what i'm saying track list you know. uh, uh, enough said out may 29th may 29th. i got the, i got the date may right nigga, god damn it i'll be, be doing my research i'll be on point <laughs> god damn it may 29th you know I, I dropped that out there right i got a whole slew of shit right now yeah. that i want to drop and i'm going to just say this while we on the interview and this is an exclusive right now like bro i i'm i'm Closing out a deal right now with Universal Records for distribution. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of motherfuckers, I appreciate it, bro. Like, and a lot of motherfuckers be like, how the fuck? Bro. <laughs> I ain't asking how the fuck. I'm saying, <laughs> yo, how can I spread the word? I appreciate it. How can I spread the word? Because shit. I appreciate what it. What the. What, what what the link I gotta put in the, you, or the whatever the however the whatever when it's when it's finalized you gonna see it I, this man this man has a family yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying this man this man been putting work in that shit was blood sweat and tears and, and some and, and bone marrow and my fucking ancestor stories and and my fucking um man I, I, I don't being, shit I don't even know and the main thing is it's been um. Self efficient. Mm. That's the main thing. <sighs> Being self efficient, bro. Like to my soul, bro. <laughs> Cause yeah, talk about the, I'll please, be please, down. Just tell me just talk. I'll be sitting down, bro, and that's what I and, and, and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out to my brother Zan, man. I'm, I'm gonna keep shouting about because bro, Yo, this nigga house is this is beautiful. I could just imagine me <laughs> watching Friday right now. That's my favorite movie. But I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna continue. I'm sorry. So, I, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm no, sorry. No, no, you good. This shit so, is hard. I'm just like, uh, He call it fishing. Yeah. He say, bro, yeah. when you not doing nothing, mm. you can sit in your phone. Bro, It's it, the world is accessible. Yes, the fuck it is. The mm. world is so accessible. Who, so, who told you this? Uh, Zan. No, that's what we call it. We call it fishing. No, I know, but I'm just trying to get to... Who told you this? Who told me this? I had my manager, my first... Manager that was with Authentic. Uh, shout out to uh, Reek. Okay. Reek. Reek with A and E. I'm just trying to get specific. Um, Maybe y'all can catch this. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you can catch all kind of deals on your phone. You, nigga, I, I'll tell shit. you. You can, you can buy a house, In a boat, home. a villa. Oh yeah. Um. For sure. A, a, I was about to say something very weird. I ain't gonna do that. You can buy anything on your phone. Let me just say that. It's accessible as shit. Yeah. And. Not just Reek, but Duke as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout had, DJ motherfucking Duke. I had motherfuckers thinking he was my manager. Like, real shit. I you had know, motherfuckers thinking you know, like... Duke be getting busy, man. <laughs> Duke, say, Duke, Duke down Tampa. Uh, uh, he Tampa down, right he, now. He right Tampa there, right, right now. now. He, 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 he right fuck now. around and... and that motherfucker text me talk about... He's sucking titties. Yo. He's sucking titties with Rob Gronkowski right now in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> and Tom Brady said, just catch the ball, motherfucker. Just catch the ball. I don't know. I don't know. I could be tripping. <laughs> No, he down there 
with uh, with Tapas with Tapas Bay official DJ <laughs> DJ saying. Pablo. So he plugged he plugged in. Oh, he plugged in. That's what I'm <laughs> Rob Gronkowski so, like that. Go <laughs> oh, fuck these bitches, bro. <laughs> this so, dude like, all right, my man. All right, my man. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So he um, just those two, you know, talk. Told me a lot about self efficient man. Like, yeah, me, I haven't been doing nothing but going to work, coming home, and being in my phone. My wife is on my ass. Make it sound like you my life. You ain't your phone. You ain't your phone. Bro. You ain't even in my ass, nigga. Right. Right. You ain't gonna tell me, but, like. But when I, but when I send certain things like my accomplishments of getting in the DJ Khaled, or showing her, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? What these I'm doing results. For, she like, okay, all right, I get it. I get it. So yeah. I go always in your phone. Like, yeah, because I'm being self-efficient. So when when I'm sitting back, I'm like, man, I was like telling myself, bro, like it, it, these these record companies, they can't be not that uh, unreachable. Because mm. Mm. back in the day, mm. back in the day, like those motherfuckers really getting in on the contact pavement. With yeah, these motherfuckers. on the pavement. So now I'm like, yo, we got all this information. Let me. So I pick. I'm been like last week. I went on every record company I could. I recall I could, all these motherfuckers. I could think of. Yeah, I'm sorry, forgive me. Yeah, went on all these record companies' websites, bro. IG pages, and I'm I'm emailing them. You know what I'm saying? Not not as myself, but I'm emailing them as. My my company, uh -huh. my yeah, representation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. Uh, uh, you you seen this? this uh, I don't mean to interrupt you. You see off the porch the shit they do yeah, off the porch, yeah. like like how we doing right now? Yeah. Oh, hit them. I said, yo, how much it cost for me um, to get my artists on there? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Seven seven um fifty up front. Seven fifty right before you get the joint. You gotta yeah. come down the ladder and do it. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. I said, that ain't bad promotion. No, that's that. But. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's because how that's how the big record companies do it. These motherfuckers ain't um, everywhere in your face yeah. just because they popular. No, that shit costs money. Costs and these money. niggas drop at least a quarter million dollars to make a hit record. Oh, yeah, for sure. Major Holo. They drop at least a quarter of a million dollars. That's like a, that's like a used Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> they drop a used Bentley <laughs> just to make one song pop. Pop. And that, and that, and that. Can, which can possibly lead up to y'all fucking with the rest of their shit. Yeah. And so. Am I lying? No. You, I know I ain't lying. No, I, I got I, pissed like a motherfucker, but I'm listening. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, so. So, um. We, uh. So, I kind of um, uh, forgive me. I, I, I no, interrupted. Right. No, no, no. So we, um, I went ahead and was just on these websites, emailing them. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, thank, then, thank you for remembering. And so I forgot. I, and so I, I came across Universal. Mm. <laughs> and when I got to Universal, Universal was the only record label that that mm. had that had that had the opportunity. For, uh, for upcoming artists to work with them. So I was like, shit, I'm on the ass. I'm emailing, emailing, sent everything in. About, I want to say about, it was a uh, Monday, midnight. I'm at work. My phone ringing. Ain't that how it happened? <laughs> at the <laughs> most inopportune time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm midnight, listening, you know, like. I'm midnight working. I'm like, what the, the fuck? fuck? And I answered the phone, man. Uh -huh. And it was it was them, you know what I'm saying, giving this me is, the rundown. Yeah, on, yeah, this is Jared. Yeah, I'm working with Universal. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, what? What's the number? Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll forgive me. I'm so they're giving me the rundown hmm. on, on on their partner um distribution company that they work with that, that is under them, that, that distribute through them. Okay. Which is spin up. Alright. Shout out to spin up. Um so they give me the rundown. They sent me everything, and oh, yo, and it, it's about to be on. Right, it's about to be on with 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 them. So uh, again, shout out to Spin Up and shout out to Universal. This is exclusive. Don't nobody know this yet. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Did this just happen today? Is Wednesday? It should happen Tuesday. It should happen yesterday. 
I'm talking about from from it's only Wednesday. From Monday and Tuesday, that's when all this shit happened. Monday and Tuesday is only Wednesday. This is hip hop biggest fan exclusive with motherfucking crow. Um <laughs> I'm too fucked up right now to even register this shit. Hey man, that's that motherfucking Jack in the Apple. Yeah, man, <laughs> listen, I'm just but, saying, uh, brother like Yeah, man, but before we get out of here again, man, I'm a um Wow. I'm gonna get back to eighty seven. Um, yeah, no, 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 let's talk about it. So they, uh, so 87, they, uh, they got, man, they independent ladies. This motherfucker got wards and shit? Hold on, you, you can keep yeah. talking. I'm gonna I'm hold up. Oh, shit. No, no, it comes off like that. Oh, oh damn, it got light in it. Oh, that's why I fucked it up. All right. <laughs> it comes off like that. Uh, this nigga got wards and shit. <laughs> I fucked it up because, like, there's a light in here. I, I, I was supposed yeah, to hit the yeah. button. Yeah, but, uh, that that those awards, man, from, from for the movie, uh, for the uh, enough said. Yeah, the documentary. Yeah, the documentary. So, um, yes, sir. So with them, man, independent company ran by a husband and wife. I was already, you know, what I'm saying, familiar with family with, and that's family for real. You know what I'm saying? And for them to take me in on the family side, I said, it is it, no, it's no brainer. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. already brother. That's already big bro. That's already sis. You know what I'm saying, big sis, and so I, they trust they trust me enough for me to be, you know, on the label and be able to help them push the brand, push the label. So that's why I end up signing with them on a representation deal, um, along with my DJ, along with DJ Duke. So we both represent 87 Records. You know what I'm saying, and. A shout out to BMF. And that was done earlier this year. That yeah, earlier this yeah, year. Yeah, I remember why, actually, I remember seeing it. Y'all they, actually came, yeah, they yeah. actually came here. He they he was on um his promo tour. Uh uh BMF Cash was um his cakewalk uh, <clears throat> promo tour. He came through, stopped through the hometown, and we thought it was the best time for us to, to announce the partnership and, and the signing of me and Duke, and that's what we did. And um, you know what I'm saying? We we've been moving since they the chains the eighty seven chains just came just came through so we we waiting for those you know what I'm saying and it's it, it, I'm not gonna lie it's gonna feel good to be given a record label chain around my neck you know what I'm saying because like as an artist as any artist that's like that's like a stamp you know what I'm saying absolutely that's like a stamp so it's like that's that's a big accomplishment for me. When when they when they when they say crow here you go and put that motherfucker around my neck, it's gonna be it's gonna be gratifying. But um, man, any artists that want to tap in with eighty seven records, man, you can follow them on IG at eighty seven records LLC. You know what I'm saying? You can follow uh, BMF Cash at BMF Cash on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? He's the COO of the company and he's the one that do the main groundwork and footwork. You know what I'm saying for art for us as the artist. So you tap in, um, and maybe you you can get a chain, man, and, and be a part of the team. But they're definitely doing doing big things. Um, for myself, man, most part is like, bro, I, I do I do a lot of shit myself. Like they these motherfuckers be like, crow, what the fuck, yo, you be moving, like you be, they, I be surprising them, I be astounded them. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying they just love they just love having me. You know, be a part of that, um, and uh, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready for, for, for the chain. I'm ready for, you know, this opportunity with Universal. I'm ready for the album to drop. I mean, and like I said, man, any artist, bro, that's in the city, surrounding areas, man, tap in. This shit don't cost money. I can't take none of this knowledge, none mm. of this shit with me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The best thing I can do is leave it, so the next person can can know, and then. All I know is that maybe my name will still be attached to that knowledge. Mm. They want to say, you know, what I'm yo, saying? crow, crow <laughs> gave me the game. <laughs> crow gave me this shit, bro. Recipe, hey. recipe mm. the little crow, bro. He, mm. he gave me this, bro. I'm surviving, bro. bro. You know I mean, I'm, 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 I'm gonna just for whatever it's worth. You ain't that old, way that you know what I mean. I'm just saying, <laughs> as as the Duke said, yo, you can at least do management and do it. And you know, I oh, done, no. I, I had motherfuckers hit me. I'm like, nigga, I know nothing about management, nigga. I'm oh no, my next plan, man, it is to hop on the business side, you know, behind the music. I gave myself a, a cap, you know what I'm saying. Um, I gave myself five years. Okay. Um, 
to 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 try to put myself in position where I want to be as an artist. Right. So you know what I'm saying I'm only on year nigga, I'm, two. I'm only on okay, year Okay, nigga, two. I'm, I'm way out of bounds. <laughs> like nigga, twenty years ago, I, I'm. Man, I, I ain't even gonna get into it. Like, if I ever get to talk about my story yeah. about twenty years ago, you'd be like, nigga, what? Yeah, fact. but I'm 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 one of them uncontrollable motherfuckers. Like, I gotta do what and what? Man, fuck out of here. I'm one of them niggas. Like, but, yeah, so man. I'm on my phone with this shit till this day with it. Hey man, hey, it's working. I mean, hey, man, it's whatever God, it is. God, it's I'm, God's plan for it. I, and, and, and you know what? Anything, anything that's, that's not, anything that's, that's, that's possible, that's profitable and growable in any way, shape or form is God's plan. Don't matter what you're doing. Bro, to me, even bigger than that, yo, how much I, I, I my, what I grew up in my belief with hip hop. Is positive it was like some E, oh, excuse me, EPMD, no. Public Enemy, EPMD. Um, yes, oh, Public Enemy. Yeah, yeah. Hold up, Run DMC. Like I, I grew up on the on the on the on the the, the positive message. Like n n like yo, positive growth till this day. Like fuck all that, yo. I just want to see. The evolution and the greatness yeah. of us with this culture. Yeah, facts. Facts. So. That's major right there. How y'all trying to. Fuck all that. Yo, I, I, I love these motherfuckers. I'm going to see these motherfuckers. We're going to chop it up. All right, put my phone out, nigga. Let's do it. Because that's how we had these conversations regularly without this. Yeah. But where we at? All right, put my phone out. Let's have yeah, this conversation. That's why. I, they, <laughs> and if I happen to pull, you know what I mean, some you digs off of it, cool. But if not, cool. <laughs> right. I love this shit and I love my people. Exactly, exactly. And that's all that that's all it be. You know for what I mean? Me. Like I, I, I love this shit and I love a, my people, that's, yo. That's all it be for me, man. Like, I'm just I'm saying I love, I love my people. But I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. We wanna take our families off this shit for too, sure, right? For sure. No, that's, that's, that's definitely that's definitely a top priority. You know what, you what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But something you gotta find something that's gonna keep you motivated within within that. Man, bro, you know I just saying? I yo, this is how much I just genuinely love Cause we hip hop, yo. Everybody wanna take care of their family. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, I just, but everybody much... don't have a, a a drive or go to do it. How many motherfuckers still sitting on their ass, but they want to? They want to? They okay, wanna... now you about to make me tell tell on myself. <laughs> you feel sad? I don't know if y'all watch me. I got me clips of my God. My wife like to do God. My wife want to do a YouTube channel about God. Okay, I want to teach it. Literally today, we were setting up a YouTube channel for gardening. She wanted to get some, I said, motherfucker, you just got to start. Yeah. You just have to start. It's like making motherfucker make your first song. Like, nigga, you ain't with Dr. Dre. You ain't, nigga, this right. you just. You just got to start. Yeah. Got you. Easy. This nigga ain't know how to rap at first. At all. <laughs> right. Dr. Dre had to punch this nigga in the, okay, we going to figure it out moving along. Literally to this day, what I just did with her. You love this shit. We love this shit. Okay, we gonna teach and move and publish this shit. Cool. Mm -hmm. But to this bro's point, man, this mother motherfucker been giving y'all good goddamn game. Man, it's been a pleasure, and a treasure, and a motherfucking honor. Hey man, it's um, my pleasure, man. I appreciate it. This means there's something beautiful behind what the fuck oh, yeah. y'all see. In my man. mind, we I'll be watching motherfucker Friday. Listen, man, it's the man cave, man. Okay, man. oh. This is where you come Break it down. The theater. You got you see what it say over there. A and T Cinema. You know what I'm saying? That's me and wifey's theater, home theater, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's yeah, our body. Man. So Oh, okay, we okay. Still, we still putting things together. I still got the arcade, which is where is that? I was gonna go up against that man. Bar. Look, I, I ain't about to like it's a whole like because I don't know what his favorite arcade game was, but I'd be like, nigga, I want NBA James. I'm like, he's on fire. No, let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. You just said that. Look, 
Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Pac -Man. Her favorite. Oh. Pac-Man's her favorite. Mm. NBA Jams. They the only two that's going to go down here. Just saying. I'm just but, saying. You know what I'm saying? This He's is, on fire. <laughs> Niggas is, used to shoot from my like fucking said, this Steph is, Curry shots. This is the hip hop biggest fans. This is a little oh, bro, bro, appreciate exclusive. That. Enough said. We in my crib, man. Like I said, May the 29th, man. Enough said the album will be on all platforms worldwide. You know what I'm saying? When I say worldwide, I'm talking about worldwide. I'm talking about in Africa, London, all over. You know what I'm saying? So the artist that that's on the album, man. So we talking about from Tasmania to motherfucking Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. From motherfucking Baltimore mm -hmm. to goddamn um 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 what's that shit over Japan? Um Tokyo, <laughs> Japan. <laughs> All, all over. The, the, the Tokyo and Japan? To oh, Tokyo, Tokyo and Japan. Okay, yeah, we're going to talk about Russia, Ukraine, them uh, niggas fighting, but y'all can get this motherfucking music. music. <laughs> all that ill shit. Real yeah. Shit. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah, y'all can kill each other with it. You Fuck it. Man? You know what I mean? We got, uh, you know what I'm saying, the artists that, that's on here, man. They my brothers. They they played a significant Absolutely. Relation, yeah. relation with me. You know what I'm saying? And... They are also upcoming artists in the Baltimore. And I don't need to get with Logan. I was supposed to do you an interview with him like a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing, doing, catch that nigga in California right there. You'll uh, catch that I, nigga. I, 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 no, yeah. I see this. I'm like, <laughs> brother, how can I fuck with you when you're moving around? I'm, he moving. And and, and man, I respect it. Man, Logan, <laughs> we, we became tight off, off our mindsets on the business, man, to understand it. So, yeah. um, and I, when I first met him, this nigga was pushing energy drinks. Yeah. I said, Gets busy. Yeah, he gets busy. Bro. Out of Baltimore. Oh, yeah. um, DC, uh, whatever the fuck Relationships, you relationships, relationships, yeah. man. And so, like I said, man, every artist that's featured on here is a brother of mine. They played a significance in my, my artist career and my personal life as well. So I had to have all my brothers on there. I got one of the most talented guys I done met just in the year. And he come from the same hood as I came from. Uh, shout out to Bully Antwal. He just moved to Atlanta. He from Baltimore too, but he from Zone 18, and one of my big bros. Oh, talking about he from 18 where? He from he he from up off the road. Okay. Yeah, he's from off the road, Alameda area, and so he okay. um so once. I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah. original 18. Oh, oh, he's 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. where you at? Where you at? I'm, 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 you ain't even gonna know the street. But I'm gonna just say I'm gonna just say Lock Raven and Delver. I mean. Oh, like Raven and motherfucker Alameda. Y'all ain't gonna know right Bell Burn, though. Well, you right there. But yeah, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right there. You know, that's whatever, but. 18, man. So, he, um, one of my big bros introduced us. He was like, bro, I need you to tap in with bro. He got talent, da, da, da. And so we did. Come to find out, he was already tapped in with Trill, who I was already tapped in with. So we all just. Trill who? CG. Trill CG. All right, now, yeah. I, you said Trill. I mean, we just think about the motherfucker. I just interviewed that dude, the, the, the motherfucker engineering. Oh the, old, oh, the old engineering dude, Trill. They, that's the older dude, Trill. I don't know this nigga old. To me, he ain't no good. To me, I'm old. I, I look at, I, yeah, yeah, to forgive you. me. I, I look at all y'all like, <laughs> but I'm yeah. forty something. Man. Like, yeah, yeah. But uh, Trill CG man, so all like down, I said, he, he, he did he down on um, Fells Point and at the Waterhouse Studio. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, all right. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Oh, all right. I'm, I look, I don't <laughs> know. Because I don't know who go by what name. Look, yeah, man, yeah. listen. I don't be out here no more. I take my ass to work. I come the fuck home. I'm on my motherfucking business. Hey, hey, that's the best way. But, um, yeah, man, again, man, everybody on the album, man, it's going to be dope. I got BMF Cash. I got DJ Duke. It's going to be crazy, man. So I need y'all to tap in. And, again, man, make sure y'all go ahead and follow Hip hop biggest fan, man. Oh man, thank you, bro. This way, this, this way is all authentic, at man. You can come and sip some Pepsi and and and, and, and uh, what you got that uh, <laughs> man. Depending upon what y'all got, nigga, we can suck titties and some more shit. But you know, <laughs> don't tell my wife. All right, all right, forgive me. Um, uh, man, I appreciate you. <laughs> you know, I be talking all kind of whatever. But. Yeah, no. yeah, bro. Um, we out, man. We I out. I'm showing sure, sure what it is. I'm not forget. I'm being. Be, no, no, nah, you good, man. Before we leave, but this one of the please tell this me. one of the first magazines I was illustrated in, man, as an artist, and I, I always keep this. It's called Secret Society, man. I was in volume twelve, you know what I'm saying? And literally, when you open this motherfucker up, literally the second page is me. Yeah, man. 
and so I, I I had to bring this right here because, like, I just want everybody to understand, man. Like, work is work. Mm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Work right. is work. And some. Things, I got I got a basketball question for this motherfucker after this. Some things you some things you can't you can't take away. Some things can't be, you know what I'm saying. Um, some things can't be duplicated. But this is this is this one thing right here. Okay. Uh, we in 2022. The Palm Mini. I'm going to just jump out here and, and put them out here best I can remember. We have the Golden State Warriors. He's a, he a basketball motherfucker. You might as well stop right there. That's hold on. Time out. Hold on. Let me just run through. Let me just run through. I'm going to get my whole run through. We got Golden State Warriors. We got the Memphis Grizzlies. We got Dallas Mavericks. Mm -hmm. We got... Who the fuck them niggas Phoenix. play? Phoenix Suns, right? That's the west. That's the west side. I should have put it over here. Cause they don't see it. It's gonna be. That's the west side, right? We got 76ers and the Celtics. Mm -hmm. We got the Heat and the Bucks. And uh, I, 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 I fucked it up. We have the 76ers and the Heat. Yep. We got the Bucks and the Celtics. And the Celtics. Yes, sir. What's the finals? The finals? The finals. Who the who in the finals? I mean, I'm a, I'm automatically rooting for, for my guys, for my team, is go to state. You know what I'm saying? That's some cold motherfuckers. And, <laughs> they got some cold motherfuckers. And, 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 and it's a jewel right, for, for motherfuckers who, who don't know. For me, it's a hooper. Like, I was... Come on. He, he's a hooper. This is why I'm saying? asking this brother. Um, he's a hooper. I was, I, was, I was the first... I was the first athlete... From Baltimore to have an Under Armour uh, endorsement. Nigga, hold on. Yeah, so what? Yeah, real shit. How did we not talk about this before? So I was I was endorsed. I got a piss like a motherfucker. I was I'm endorsed. Listening. I was endorsed by Under Armour back in 2011. What? Yeah, all the way up until 2017. Yep. And so um, I was signed with Under Armour. Even before Steph Curry was, but Steph Curry, yeah. I was following Steph Curry when I was in college as well. Holy back shit! Back in two thousand and ten, so I was already a, a, a Steph Curry fan, way before the injuries and everything. Up in college, I was. So when he signed with Under Armour, you looking like the fuck? I'm signed. Look, I'm, I'm nigga. nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo. I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I'm signed to a company that my favorite basketball player signed to. Like, nigga, I got, I had Steph Curry everything, nigga. Steph Curry socks. Oh, I had, word. I, I had all That's the how Steph, that shit went? Had all the exclusive Steph Currys, all that shit. Like, Bro. So, Golden State been been my team since Steph Curry. So, that they've been my guys since 2009. All right. Cool, yo. So you going with Golden State. Golden State going for the championship 2020. From the West. You know what? You said who the finals. No, fuck that. You said who going to win the championship? I think they will win it. I got my guys, man. And so, um, from the East, though, from the East, I'm not going to lie. No, man. who, who going to take the whole shit? Take, I, I'm going with my guys, man. I got. I, I want to see them. I want to see Golden them. State? Yeah. Yeah, they can take it. Yeah, I, I think it's a redemption. Okay. Like, like well, if you got I'm, three of the... They, 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 all three of them is all of all three of them is they, 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 they said this, the Splash Brothers. Well, now they got the pool for the Splash Brothers to be splashing, splashing in. in. Without that being Listen. said, um, <laughs> <laughs> get money. Don't go for the bullshit. Stay dangerous, motherfucker. Little Crow, he was the biggest fan. Man, I got pissed like a bitch. <laughs> Back right here, bro. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>